Hey everybody, Mark from the Geek Church again, and it's time for part two of our two cam review. Coming up right after this. Okay, I think I mentioned in my uh, wireless security camera pro how much I never really heard of Toucan and then the fact that it's a cool looking bird. And um, I hope you enjoyed that particular video because as I'm, as I'm opening this, I've only half finished it. Uh, just got to the unboxing stage and now we're gonna get to the unboxing stage here. And we're gonna see what's inside. Uh, this is the wireless video doorbell, by the way. I seem to have forgotten to say that. Okay, I got them out of the box, and so basically, I'm just gonna read what I see on here. It's got a 180 uh, degree ultra wide angle. Uh, it can do video calls, build a rechargeable battery, and um, yeah, so, okay. So, according to the box, let's see what it comes with. Uh, this, is, it, this looks like a COVID-19 mask. I'm just gonna say it, okay? It does, I'm sure it has a function. And we'll get to that. Okay, as always, secured by Toucan. Okay, you can't see this, but this thing says remove before use, and I have removed it. But I'm pretty sure that's referring to the plastic that's on it. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm, not really certain what this is. Uh, we're gonna have to check this out. And this looks like the video doorbell itself. Now, it also comes with these batteries in here. Uh, two double A's and uh, there's also something else in here and I really can't tell what it is. Um, yes, I, I'd say it's a charging cord, but if it came with batteries, why does it need a charging cord? Aha, this is what I suspected that it would come with. Mm -hmm. Well, there is a charging cord. Weird. Okay, I'm not really certain how this works, but I'm going to take a guess. Every video doorbell that I've ever reviewed, and I think I've reviewed maybe two of them, uh, usually it requires you to surgically remove your uh, existing doorbell so you can put it on there. So it's powered by the same thing that powers your current doorbell. Um, I said I reviewed two. I can't remember if I've ever gotten one to work. I think there was one that I actually got to work and then I couldn't get it to work every time. And part of it I think was due to my uh, how do you say it? Oh, yes, my Wi-Fi. I couldn't get it to, I think my Wi-Fi was, you know, it's got to be like 2.5 or 5 uh, something. I think mine was at 5 and this thing's got to be 2.4 or something. I, I forget. And uh, the fact that I'm even saying it and saying this so clumsily shows how much I know. And um, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to even remember if, uh, where those doorbell videos are. Check them out and uh, see how it is. I don't really remember uh, what brand of electronic doorbells they were, but I'm gonna have to look at my old videos doing a search for doorbell and see what I can find. And uh, maybe that'll get down to the bottom of this. Okay, normally I just, I look at stuff and I try to make it uh, seem like perhaps it's obvious what something does and what something doesn't do. But honestly, I mean, I thought maybe this connected to this or something, but uh, eh, honestly, I'm not really certain what this connects to. I think the best thing I can do is simply follow the instructions and try connecting it up and then getting some video footage on it. That sounds like the best thing I can do. So we're gonna switch to a different camera. Okay, so I had a chance to set this guy up and um, I'm gonna show you some footage from it. Okay, so I got the thing connected all up here and this is the camera. I've got it out. When I put it in first, it was upside down, which is really odd, but Okay, setup for this device was very simple, I have to say. Um, it just requires you to, of course, download the app, which I discussed when I was dealing with the Wireless Security Camera Pro. Uh, check out that review if you want to see another good Toucan product. And this will also give you a level of security. So yeah, this um, thing just basically, there's kind of a, let's see, how do I describe it? There's this, oh. <laughs> anyway, there's this thing that, um, well, it comes off, but I screwed it in there. So uh, basically, and then you just, uh, well you put in this metal frame, then you just chuck this in, and it's very decent. This thing didn't really take long to charge either. I think I may have spent like, I don't know, like, oh, I mean, I think I put it uh, there for about an hour or so, and it was, um, then I got this continuous blue light. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna probably talk about more about the specs in the video, or not the video, the article. 
Um, I think I might have mentioned that I didn't really know what this was, that I thought it was some sort of mounting device or something. Uh, I was way off. This is actually the chime, and essentially, like, if I were to hit this button... Alright, you can hear the chime, so uh, just to let you know what this sounds like. Okay, I suddenly realized that I don't think I got that. any night footage of this thing, um, but... Uh, Ooh, um, I'm gonna have to check the specs to see if that it can do it. So that right here we got night vision, so we're good to go. So the app is really simple uh, to use and to set up. So if you're looking for just one of these, uh, you know, camera doorbells, I mean, which are pretty common these days, it wouldn't surprise me if like every house has one of these as a standard. I don't know, by the time we get finished wrecking all our old houses and building new ones, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so if you're looking to purchase one, you can get it for about $99.99 on the Toucan site. And um, it's a pretty decent product. I'll got to go into more detail about it in the article. But for now, uh, I'm setting off until the next Toucan review, which we're going to cover, and which is a great security camera. Till then, this is Mark from the Geek Church. I'm signing off.